Hey everybody, this is Kleiner Gamer here and I am back with Let's Replay Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. In the last part I managed to get past a uh, truck stopped with a bit of difficulty as you saw from my failures. But anyway, let's head into Jetboard J, the last level in Salty Wharf. Now, I've actually got a checklist in front of me of how many boxes I should have at each checkpoint and or bonus round and or gem path. So I've got nine checks to do. The ninth one will be the final one where I hopefully get the, or where I should get the box gem. So here's hoping that uh, nothing horrible goes wrong here. <laughs> but knowing me in this game and Crash 4, yeah, things might go wrong. But thankfully, as I said, this is mainly due to skill issues rather than luck, unlike Crash Bash. Anyway. So if I don't have 33 boxes by the first check, for the first checkpoint, then I will restart the level. From what I remember of this level, this one is a pretty lengthy level. So I'm hoping I do not make any mistakes whatsoever when it comes to this level, but we shall see. Oh god, okay. Good thing I dug there. I was a debating about whether or not to jump over that that obstacle earlier, but it's a good thing I ducked under it because of the uh, shark throwing the fish bones. Yeah, get all the Wumper fruit I can for the Wumper gems. Alright, nice. That was a close one there. Alright. Yes, okay, good. I got a three boxes. Yep, okay, good. Let's move on then to the jet board itself. So I'm just hoping that this will not. Yes, that's pretty easy there, and there's a flashback tape there. Get that checkpoint, and how many should we have by the second checkpoint? 42, yes. And we'll go to the bonus round, and that should be the bonus round should be pretty straightforward. And I can die as many times as I want. And looking at the structure of this bonus round, it's a little callback to Crash Bandicoot One's uh, Cortex bonus round. Holy crap! I almost uh, died of that explosion there. <laughs> Yeah, exactly the same as the Cortex uh, bonus rent, except for the boxes in the middle. Yep, nice and easy. Alright, let's go. Alright, first one per gem is ours. And we got 71 boxes uh, from the third check, which is a bonus rent. Yes, okay. Now we're getting onto the more serious uh, stuff here. That first uh, section was just a warm-up. This is where it gets really tough. So I really hope I don't die here, but I won't be surprised if I do. But we'll see what happens. Oh god. That was close. Right. Should have... Oh, okay, right. I didn't do a check for that, right? The next check I got is 108. I think this is the very end of the section. Thankful I got Oh my god, you. Wow. That was an absolutely dick move from that shark there. Hopefully, not enough stuff. Oh my god. How the hell did I not die there? I actually thought I died there. I somehow did not die. Not gonna complain too much though. Oh god damn it. Right. Restart. God damn it. This is what I hate about this bloody game. 106% getting the bloody 
insanely perfect relics. Yeah, it is a matter of skill, but... F- wow. Pretty demanding skill, if you ask me. But that's what it is, I suppose. Alright. The really infuriating thing about this level is if I die, I'm going to have to go all the way back from the very beginning. If I end up dying, it's one of the longest levels in the game. So, just uh, hope I don't do that again. So again, uh, duck under this to avoid the shark's uh, fishbone attack. I have to admit, that was a, like, the sharks in this can be very, very, very clever. Do you know what, see those bouncy boxes that stopped me in that first attempt on the, the moving uh, platform, so I'm going to just spin them and not get the one fruit. A bit of a risk I'm going to take there, but I don't think it's worth the risk of getting them. Oh, let's see. 33, yep. Nice. Nice. Okay. Get the flashback tape. Nice. And 42 boxes, yep. And then the third check is the bonus round. And this one's uh, pretty similar to the uh, Crash Bandicoot 1 bonus, uh, Cortex bonus round, where you get the second key. Seventy-one box from the bonus round. Yes. Yeah, I've got a checklist in front of me as well to make sure I keep track of how many boxes I've collected so far. So let's see. Right. Now it's time for the moving platforms. This is where I died last time. Unsurprisingly, I predicted I was going to die here, and I was right. Nice. Now, let's hope that that shark doesn't... Oh, he didn't even do anything. <laughs> wow. On my first attempt at this, the shark threw a fishbone at the remaining box, beside the Aku Aku crate. On this attempt, he didn't even do anything. I guess the game's feeling sorry for me. <laughs> oh god, okay, right. That was close. Right. Now, this is where I died last time, due to the bouncy boxes coming up. Oh god. Just get rid of them. I'm not gonna. Oh my god. Okay. Good. Right now, there are the hidden gem is up here. Now, before we get that checkpoint, just want to see. Did I get 108? Yes, I did. Sweet. Okay. Unfortunately, though, I have no Aku Aku mask whatsoever, so that is putting me in a bit of a disadvantage. So I just hope that I don't end up screwing up here. Okay, just be careful with these mines. Oh no, I missed the box. No! Oh my god. Okay. Thank goodness. I thought I died there. I thought I was going to die there. Right, gem path. Checkpoint first though. So I should have 117, yes. 
I don't know why it's got that message there. I mean, I guess, I mean, for a hint, but why display that whenever they got the green gem? So, not quite sure why that's there, but anyway. So, here's hoping I do this first time without dying. Oh god. Quite like it when the box is out above there. Okay. So let that TNT blow up along with the nitro. Okay, get rid of that shark. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay. That was close. Very precise platforming I had to do there, but I did it. Okay, whoa, okay, way too many close calls. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen today, oh my god. Okay, that was way too damn close, right. So I should have, yeah, 139, nice. Okay, good to go, all the boxes there. Okay, now we are heading into. Lanny Lully's uh, section. Just need to be careful here. Okay, whoa, okay, that was close. Now I know that with this crate there are a few crates above me. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think that was all of them. Right. I hope so anyway, I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the backside when I say that. I think that was all the crates and all of a sudden, boom, you miss one crate at the end of the level. <laughs> uh, Alright, so now what are we dealing with? Okay, if I do that... There, and that triggers that crate there. there go, getting that crack and mask for that. This will be quite important for the end of the level. Oh my god. Don't fall off. Oh, well, the shark uh, ended up getting that box for me, so that's fine. I just need to wait till the next checkpoint for, for this next one. So that platform disappears. And like that. Okay. Okay. Oh god. That was close. Oh my god. Oh my god. Throwing off way too many close calls here. <laughs> I'm cutting this way too close on way too many occasions. Right. Come on, shark. Do what you got to do. Thank you. Right. I'm still not quite close enough yet to the third uh, Wumpa Gem. I'll get there though. Alright. Just need to be careful with this here. Should be pretty simple platforming here. Okay, whoa! Okay, that was close. Get rid of these sharks. I hope I've got all the crates here so far, because if I don't, I'm going to be really, really annoyed. Yes, I should have all of them. Good. Right. Good. Uh, the next check I should have is uh, 173 or 196. Yes. Or, well, yeah, 174 now, but yeah, I've got them, so that's fine. There was nothing else around here, was there? No. Okay, well, let's go on the jet ski then. Now, I'm going to lure these rats into the mines. This is very important to do this because uh, it means uh, less pressure on you on this uh, jet ski ride. On this already dangerous uh, jet ski ride. Okay, get that crate. My god, I'm facing right through that. No way, no. Okay, right, thank goodness. I was about to say, I don't know why the hell that wasn't triggering. Ah, okay. Why is it not? Why is that not? Oh my god. Okay, right, thank goodness. Okay, 
Okay, good, right, the other rats uh, should have gone into the traps. That was good, and I got the third one for Jim as well, so that's good. All right, let's look out for these cannons. Okay, yeah, watch out for those mines on the side. All right, good. Right, need to get that third rat. Yeah, nice. Okay, I got all three of them. All right, just be careful here. Okay. Now, should we have 194? Yes, we do. Nice. Right, good. And that's just before this uh, boss battle coming up here. Now, Louise, in order to defeat Louise here, I need to uh, lure the rats into attacking the uh, tentacle here, like so. Okay, just be careful here. Oh, I thought maybe the rats could... Uh, maybe not. Oh, nice, okay, good. Good. Okay, keep going. Oh my god, okay, that's way too close for comfort there. Okay, two more hits to go on this this boss. Oh my god. This is way too close. Alright, one hit to go. Nice. Okay, we did it. Now, I should have all the boxes as well. If I don't, I'm going to be really, really mad. Yes! Nice. We did it. Second try. Not too bad. And I've got an insanely perfect relic for that as well. Nice. And the flashback tape as well and everything else. Alright, let's continue. I believe we have another cutscene coming up. This guy. <laughs> Alright, nice. We did it and we got a Kano under our control as well. That's good. So, I think that'll be that'll be quite good for this part. So only one failure, so do you know what? I think I'm gonna keep that failure in, to be honest with you. It's only one failure, it's not worth uh, doing a, a, a fail montage when I only failed once. So, next time I come back, in part 9, I'll be going into the next level, giving it a spin. Anyway, let's see what skins we've unlocked. Oh, another uh, Coco one. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, the artist. The artist. Very good. Alright, let's go back. Well, speaking of Coco, we're actually going to be playing as her. We'll uh, give her a little bit of a uh, showtime and give it a spin next. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again for more content soon. Till then, bye-bye.